Hey guys, um, today I'm going to show you how to manually mod the game Oblivion. So the first step is um, to get a shortcut to your Oblivion data folder. I have one right here, see the data folder is right there. Open that up, it shows all the data files for the game. And then another thing you can do that is really useful is to make a separate folder for all your the mods that you have downloaded. So I have <laughs> a bunch that I've gotten so far. So once you have those two shortcuts it makes it a lot easier. So next step is to go to tesnexus.com which stands for the Elder Scroll ne Nexus. So we go there and we pick out a mod that we want to download. And uh, for some mods you need to have um, registered to download some of the bigger mods so that would be very useful for you to do I'm just gonna pick one from the top 100 list right now I'll do this, the Road Strokers Rogue Outfit powered by HEW whatever that means so we go to the files tab right here and then we just download the main file pick the top server right here and should download there right here save the file and we want to save it to our mods folder our mods folder so just save it alright and then go to where we saved it open that up and then I have WinRAR right, right now so I'll just extract the files right here in my mods folder and I get these and I'll choose the high resolution so um, I'll get those files first and I want to extract all of them to my mods folder now I don't know if you'll have to do this for every mod, every mod's a little bit different but I'll just extract it there close out of that exit out and I don't want to, we're not using Oblivion Mod Manager right now but so we got these meshes and textures file right now so now we begin dragging and dropping the files into our Oblivion data file so it would show up in the game so I have Windows 7 so I just snapped both my mods folder and my Oblivion data folder right here so as you can see we have the two mod folders the meshes and the textures meshes are basically the 3D objects in the in the game and the textures are the images that wrap around the meshes to give it um, color so you can see in our data folder right here in Oblivion we also have a meshes and a textures folder so you you just gotta think of the data the data folder as layers so first we want to install just the one that's on top so go into your meshes folder and your mods um, folder here and also the meshes in your Oblivion data folder and then we can just take this the mod mesh folder right here and drag it right in to the meshes folder. Okay, we got that. Now we want to go into textures, so we go back and go into textures in the Oblivion data folder. And then we go into textures right here. You you always want to keep the same like layers of your folders so you don't install them wrongly so we got we just want to drag both of these into our textures and yep yeah. <coughs> and yes you do if it asks if you want to merge these folders you just hit yes alrighty so now we got both our meshes and textures which is what every mod basically has 
So we got those installed into our data folder. So we, the only thing that's left is to put in the ESP file. Now the ESP file, so you, you can see I have a lot of them here for a bunch of mods. They are the file that lets you activate the mod when you start up Oblivion. So we want to drag that just into right into our data folder, not into any meshes or textures, but right into the data folder. So we take the ESP file right here, and we drag it right into data. And we hit continue. And there it is, and that will let us activate the mod. So we are all done manually installing it. What we have to do is open up Where's my Oblivion? Right there. Open up Oblivion. Go to the data files right here. And we can see this is the mod that we just put in this ESP file. So we want to hit that check and hit OK. Now I'm going to switch to Fraps to show you the mod in game. So, yeah. Alrighty, so we are in the testing hall, which is what the mod said to go to to find it, and it's in this barrel right here. So we get a mod outfit, put it on, and this should work. Backpack, medallion, and the outfit. Very cool. Alrighty, and that's all you need to do to manually install mods into Oblivion. Alrighty, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please ask them. I will get back to you. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.